Hi, Steve Clifford from Sheehy Toyota of Fredericksburg and Stafford, Virginia. Visit them at Sheehy.com. And today we are going to talk about driveline binding. Driveline binding is a situation that most experienced off-roaders are very familiar with. But there's a lot of new people coming into the market right now. I'm in a brand new Tacoma, 2024 Tacoma, and I did a video recently showing how easy it is to engage four-wheel drive. Just turn that little switch to H4, and it locks the center transfer case and puts you into four-wheel drive. And right now my little button's flashing, so I'm going to just drive forward a bit. Okay, now it's in four-wheel drive. And I mentioned in the last video that you, of course, wouldn't want to do this on dry pavement. And I had people ask me, well, why not? And it struck me, somebody doesn't know. So let's go over it. This is what your car is doing. This is what each one of your four tires is doing when you turn a corner. And if you notice, each one of those lines is going around a slightly different radius of a circle. Well, that means that each tire needs to be able to turn at a different rate of speed. That's why you have differentials. Your front differential allows the right and left front wheels to turn at different rates of speed, and the rear differential, same thing. And on an all-wheel drive vehicle, you have a center differential that allows the front and rear to turn at different rates of speed. But in a pickup truck with a part-time system, that is a transfer case. What a transfer case does is it transfers exactly half the power to the front and half to the rear with no slip. Well, that becomes a problem when you are in four-wheel drive because the front and rear needs to be able to turn at a different rate of speed. Now, if you're in a low traction situation like snow or ice or sand or mud, off-road situations, that's not a big deal because in a low traction situation, your tires can just kind of slide across that surface and it'll slide around slightly as you turn that corner. No big deal. But what about dry pavement? That wheel, that tire is very grippy and it's gripping onto the ground. So what you hope happens if you turn a corner in four-wheel drive is that that tire will scuff across the surface of the road because if it doesn't something has to give and if it's not the traction at the tire it's going to be an axle or a drive shaft or your transfer case something very expensive could break and let me show you i'm not going to do this real hard but I do want you to see what this is, what this looks like here. So I'm going to put it in drive. I'm going to move forward, and then I'm going to turn the steering wheel hard. And you're going to notice that even though I'm applying gas right now, the truck's really not moving. It's that's binding. The drive line is binding up because it it, it really is trying to break something. And I'm gonna get myself out of four wheel drive here. And then I'm gonna back myself back into my parking space here so I don't damage anything. But the whole idea is that the drive system is binding because it needs something to slip. It needs something to break. And again, hopefully what you break is just the traction on the, uh, on the ground, but don't take chances with it. That's what driveline binding is, and that's what makes a four-wheel drive a great off-road vehicle. Uh, if you're looking for something just to help you on, you know, on days when it's a little wet, a little slippery on road, you might be better off looking for an all-wheel drive vehicle. So that's my explanation of driveline binding, and I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.